This is the nozzle install for the 440-550 jet nozzle from Pro Watercraft. Here's how we install it. Step one, we suggest removing the two pivot bolts. They are a four millimeter Allen key. I have removed both pivot bolts. Now I can remove the nozzle and we will remove the ball end steering joint so we're going to install the ball end steering joint to the new nozzle. We suggest using Loctite on all hardware. So I've installed the ball end joint, put Loctite on it, and tighten it down with my 10 millimeter wrench with about two pounds of torque. Okay, so now I'm ready to install the new Pro Watercraft jet nozzle to our OEM nozzle. Simply push the two together and you'll want to line up the hole there for the pivot bolt. Once you see how it installs, you'll want to put Loctite on both pivot bolts to reinstall them. It's important to understand that you line up the nozzle with the siphon area. At this point, you're ready to install the nozzles back to the watercraft. Please always use Loctite on all your hardware. Make sure your surface is clean and enjoy the product. All of our products can be found on our website. On desktop, you can go into products. On mobile, select the make and your manufacturer. Our search bar is very handy for finding products quickly. Please review our product pages and let us know if you have any questions. We're glad to answer them. If you have a review, please post the review and send us an email. We'll provide a discount on your next order of Pro Watercraft products. Like us on Facebook. And don't forget to subscribe.